Welcome to the punch video time. Have you been wondering of how you can make your own and simple combat system on scratch? We have come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a combat system on scratch. So, in this game, there will be a player which can kick and punch. And then there will be a back for it to punch and kick. So, if you are ready, let's get scratching. First, let's click on our clear sprite and then add a when green flag leg block. Let's make a variable and then let's click make a variable call and name it dot state. Then you have to leave it for all sprites and then click OK. Now add a forever loop for setting our costume to dot state. I'll explain this later, okay? Now let's add another one green flag click. And then add another forever loop with a if. With two ifs actually. So let's add a key right arrow pressed and the key left arrow pressed. Now if key right arrow pressed, then firstly we'll set dot state shape punch. Now just wait a second. You have to save this step. It is crucial. Now, this step is to set your punch, your dot state variable to your punch and kick costume in the exact words. This is because scratch is case sensitive. Now let's just test it. So, yeah, that seriously works. We can duplicate this and set it to for our left arrow presses and then yeah we can have a nice little dance here mm, cool. now just one thing we have to set our dot state variable to either when we start the game or else it will be on a punching or kicking both so that's good now, what made this? Did only this script do this animation or the when green flag click? The when green flag wrote it. Ha! That's why I told your dot state to be in the exact costume name as your sprite. Why is that so? See, we are actually switching our costume to this dot state. There you go, your answer. If you do one misstep, your costume will change. That's your answer. There you go. So then we will wait one second. So wait 0 0.2 seconds, I guess. I think that's a good number. And then we can switch dot state to idle back. Now, just one thing after that. You will have to put the weight kind of 0 0.5 seconds to make it good. And now for the kick, you can just duplicate everything after the set dot state punch and put it into kick. Let's give the test. See that we only have a pause before we have another punch or a kick. Same thing. So that is going good till now. Let's make our punching bag. Hooray! Right? So let's click into the back sprite and then add a when flag leg block. After that, let's put a forever. with an if with two ifs in these two ifs in the diamond shape let's add an and operator just two and operators and then in the first one we will have to put the 
to stick man or for me it's just stick man then after that we'll be checking for the dot state settings so let's put in uh, equals to two of them and then on the left hand let's put the dot state and on the left right hand let's put what our dot state set to then we can first for the punch we can switch our costume to kick now also after the when green to click switch costume to your idle pose switch costume to kick then we can turn around 15 degrees after that we can wait 0 0.2 seconds because that much how much time our player waited then we can turn back 15 degrees and then we can switch costume to no let's just give them a nice test okay so that looks good let's do it again and have fun okay so that was what we wanted until now well that's not it because we still have the dot state equal to kick we can duplicate the one for the dot state equals to punch the only thing to do is set the punch to Heck. Okay, so let's just test it again. So let's expand this and then click the when green flag clicked. Right arrow, punch, 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 punch. Left arrow, kick, 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 kick. Okay, so that is great. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, the punch video time is out.